So the meal you eat at 9.30 is going to be stored more as fat than if you have that same meal at 5.30. Mm. I know. So 90 says aren't doing themselves any no. favors. So we go back to our primal friends, right? Like, let's go back and use that if, if, if people get lost in these theories. So they didn't have electricity. They sat around the fire. So the, most likely they ate during light hours. And then the women, what did the women do? If we go back and look at, at cultures around our period, we were actually, that's the whole red tent ideas. We were se sequestered off into another part of the, of the tribe. We didn't have to do as many chores. We went more into an introverted place. If you go back and you study what we did in those days, it was very much along those lines. And we're just not doing that now. What about supplements? What supplements mm. would you have men and women consuming? Uh, well, for women, the most important supplement she could ever take is magnesium. Magnesium makes every single hormone in your body. For men, I would say the most important supplement, I mean, there's a lot of them, um, but for hormones is zinc because zinc makes testosterone. Outside of that, for both men and women, the other supplement and the other measurement that we all need to be looking at are vitamin D levels. Yeah. I've learned this from guests on this podcast. Yeah. I've started taking vitamin D supplements.